I made a crucial mistake this morning. I woke up from a dream before 5 a.m. and I decided to play some YouTube podcasts while I'm lying in bed. I should have turned on the meditation app, but I just wanted to interesting listen to something interesting. So I lied in bed and listened for over two hours, even though I was getting tired again and falling asleep, but not able to fall asleep because of the podcast. So if I wake up in the middle of the night next time, I'm just gonna turn on my meditation app at most and try to fall back asleep again. Bad way to start the day. My friend Daniel and I were talking about integrity and the importance of it. Integrity doing what you say you're gonna do is really important because it builds self-trust and self-respect when you do what you say you're gonna do. You like yourself more. And when you max out integrity, that leads to inner abundance where you don't crave the approval of others. You're grounded in yourself and you feel abundant on the inside even if you may not have outward abundance, material abundance. Plus, we both believe that having inner abundance does lead to more outer abundance. So we want to strive for more inner abundance. And in order to do that, we have to do things that we say we're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is kind of what I've been doing up until now. He also talked about journaling how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis to see what affected your mood that day and reflecting on a weekly basis just to see your progress and go over and read your journals throughout the week so that you gain some lessons that you can learn and take it into the next week. I do journal daily, but they consist of what I've done or eaten that day. But I think it's important for me to maybe start doing the stream of consciousness writings again, where I write down my thoughts and how I feel. Writing for 20 minutes a day and then reflecting on them at the end of the week I think could be very valuable just like he said. I guess the only problem is it takes time and commitment, so I have to commit myself to doing it on a daily basis. Okay, today is leg day. Step ups as slowly as possible. Seven failures on each leg. Let's do it. And it's just over 14 and a half minutes. Oh God. That was tough. Okay, so got my walk in today and also worked out and practiced flute. So that was great. I just need to do stream of consciousness writing right after I make this video. I write for 20 minutes and reflect on just anything that's in my brain. Just dump it onto paper. So I had a pretty interesting stream. Um, I was streaming my flute practice and I was trying to learn uh, this piece by ear, the Letter Go by Passenger and Ed Sheeran, the anniversary edition, although it's pretty much the same as the original because I can't play the harmony as well. But anyways, as I was streaming that, a guy named Tofu Shark asked, how do I keep motivated? Because it's hard to stay on track and be motivated. And it got me thinking about my journey till this point. I basically, this, this whole video series has changed my daily life because I'm working out almost every day. I started playing the flute. And just to make a long story short, in 2019, I was depressed with suicidal ideations. And then 2020, I was no longer depressed, but I just seeked comfort and didn't want to do anything all day other than just sit on the couch and watch TV and YouTube. And that's what I did day after day for months and years. 2021, 2022, I gained a little more motivation as to 
I started posting some YouTube shorts here and there. I started gaining the desire to do things. It was a very slow process. And then I have this calendar where I keep, it's a habit tracker. Why is for making YouTube videos. I made a good number of YouTube videos. They, they were probably all shorts. Yeah, they were all shorts. I started exercising a little bit here and there. And when my grandmother came, I started walking with her almost every day. The W stands for walk. And even after she left, I was still walking quite a lot of days. I mean, I missed a few days here and there, but... And I've been working out like here and there once a week, maybe twice a week. But I continued to walk almost every day, posting YouTube videos here and there, exercising a little bit here and there. And right at the end of October, when I started posting daily YouTube videos, bam, it's suddenly super crowded where I'm doing like almost all my priorities almost every single day. So really, there are two things, walking, making that an almost daily habit, and then YouTubing, making that a daily habit, which forced me to exercise on an almost daily basis. And then I started adding flute to that and trying to read as well. The R stands for reading. But I was telling Tofu Shark, I also got an accountability partner, Niels, through the part-time YouTuber Academy course. And we talk on the phone for about three to five minutes every single morning. He's in Germany, but we briefly say how we did yesterday. Did we reach our goals yesterday? What are our priorities today? and we wish each other a productive day and then check up on the next day. So things that really started helping me going was starting to have a daily productive habit like walking and I started listening to audiobooks like The Slight Edge which talks about simple daily small habits that build up to be massive in terms of results later down the line. So walking, having an accountability partner, and then starting to make these videos on a daily basis, which force me forces me to work out. Yeah, this is all pretty recent stuff. So it was interesting to answer his Tofu Shark's question about motivation because I still don't have it all figured out. Like today, I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to practice flute. I've mentioned previously in one of my videos that I'm struggling with motivation. I guess making these videos is a form of accountability partners because you guys can see just at first glance whether from my videos, if you're looking at my page, whether I've been keeping up. Like you'll see that I didn't work out for over the weekend. I didn't work out Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday I started getting back into exercise and flute and then I skipped flute the next day, but at least I exercised. Like you, you see the rhythm that I don't have it down pat. I'm still working on it. But yeah, that was my spiel about the brief summary of my progress up to this point. Maybe once I become even more disciplined and consistent with everything that I set my mind to, I can make a separate video about my journey but it's pretty much what I just said. So a good day today. I got some reading done, but I still want to do a bit more reading and also stream of consciousness writing, which will take 20 minutes. I don't know if I'll get to it because I want to also get some early bedtime and get some good early sleep. So we'll see. But anyways, 1% better every day, baby.